Hi there, my name is Heidi. I'm a mom and I'm a maker. I love to use my serger and my sewing machine and I have a 3D printer and I uh, love to make things. It's so much fun. And during the whole pandemic, while we were all sitting at home, I was watching all these YouTube videos of all these beautiful, beautiful cups that people were making, drinking cups, to drink water out of or cocktails or whatever. And they were beautiful and I wanted to make them. So I started watching videos and watching videos and subscribing to YouTube tutorial channels and it took me about uh, six months before I finally pulled the trigger, bought some glitter, bought some epoxy at the Michaels and made my first cup. And it's really, really been more than a hobby now. As a matter of fact, I posted them on Facebook. People started asking if they could buy them. I've been selling them and I'm completely in profit at this point, which is really, really, really wonderful. It's just an accidental thing that became a hobby that became um, a way to make a little bit of side money. So I'm really excited about it. But more than that, it really, really has tapped into a creative outlet that I didn't even know that I needed. So I'm very, very, very um, excited to share that with you. So many people have said, how are you doing this? What are you doing? Can I do that? And let me tell you, not everybody can do that. Um, everybody can do parts of it, but it is, um, it's, you know, kind of a dangerous little substance to use. It takes a lot of products and things like that. So if you don't plan well, I'm super, super frugal, so I can find anything on clearance or discount or figure out how to make it myself. Um, and so I want to share those kind of tips and stuff like that with you so that maybe this doesn't have to be so expensive. Maybe you can decide whether it's something that you can tackle. I'll show you a few of the things that I've made. Um, this was one of my first cups. And um, I, the glitter uh, on it was so much fun in the swirl. Um, one of the reasons that we kind of decided to do this is because my husband does epoxy floors and we thought, hey, wouldn't it be neat if we had a way to show the different things that you can do on the floor, the different colors of things. So I'll make epoxy cups. And I made some, and um, I'm having more fun with this, and he really isn't even involved anymore in it. I mean, he loves to um, tell me what I should and shouldn't do, and wants me to use a little less sparkle. But, um, yeah, it's, it's mostly become less about epoxy floors and more about glitter. Um, here's one that I watched a tutorial. If you watch these tutorials, you'll see what I mean, but um, this isn't finished yet, but um, I use my Cricut to cut out decals and then I use it as mask, you know, and I spray paint over it and you get these fun, fun, incredible glitters. This one right here, well, I can't tell you the name of it because it's a naughty name. It's from my fucking glitters. So um, Google that if you can figure out how to spell it. Um, I will provide links because it is hilarious. The names in all of those funny, 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 hilarious names for the glitters, but the glitters are amazing. This one is one of theirs. I love it. This one was one of theirs. See all the different colors in that? Um, they're just amazing. Um, this was a cup that I did that was an accident. I um, made, I was using all these different mica powders and stuff, and um, I thought it was gorgeous. It was really rose gold. It looked like Venus, and everybody was like, whoa, that's ugly. So I um, spray painted, I, I, I put the decals on it and then spray painted over it. It was gonna be black, and I screwed up in the middle of it, and my black spray paint ran out, so I used gray primer, that's all I had, and bam, I did a wood green with alcohol inks over it, which I can show you what all that is too, and this has been one of my most popular cups now, it's so much fun. Um, I've done some like this, the wood grains are very, very popular, and you do the different, it looks like inlay, but it's not, it's a decal. And what else do I have? Oh, oh, I wish more people would get behind something like this. This is so much fun. It's reversed. You see, I'm new. I don't know. I'll figure out how to get all that. Anyway, so much fun. It says, I'm not needy, I'm wanty. So cute. Glitter. Um, a wine.
can show you these things all day long. It's so much fun. But actually, maybe I should just start by, uh, maybe I'll edit all this. Is I'm gonna deliver this to a friend of mine. She bought it from me. So much fun. This one I'm gonna put a friend's daughter's name on. She bought it from me. So much fun. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I make a cup so that you can see all the things involved, so you can decide if it's something for you, or maybe you just want to reach out to all the wonderful, amazing uh, cup makers on Etsy at craft fairs and buy their cups because maybe then you'll understand how much goes into them and you'll understand why they are the higher prices that they are because I've sold my cups for between 35 and 50 dollars a cup and people are like 50 dollars for a drinking cup well when you see what all goes into it you know um, you'll understand why and then when you see somebody cry because you've made a cup that's in their favorite color with a really 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 touching saying on it um, and, and it touches their heart and the artwork on it and everything, it, it's special. So I've been buying my cups lately from the Maker Flow and I'll link to that. And so this is how they come to you, which is really cool. Now, I try not to spend more than $6 on a cup. This is my little secret. I try not to spend more than $6 on a cup, but I'll go up to $12 if it's something that I need. Um, and there's still profit involved. Um, Sometimes I look at Ross. This this one right here I bought at Ross for $4.99 on clearance. And then I, you know, jazzed it up with all the things. So I'm going to take my cup. So the cup comes. With a straw. And I save all of the things because I want to make sure that the person who ends up with the cup in the end has all the wonderful packaging. This is a lid with a slider for drinker and a straw will fit in it. So I just save that. And these are really high quality, you know, they have to good. Um, you can choose whether they pop off or screw off. Um, and Maker Flow includes this little tumbler care card which is really cool and I've made my own tumbler care cards kind of that have my little logo and fun stuff like that on them um, because there are certain things you don't want people to do you don't want people to put these in the dishwasher you know and uh, you know you just you have to say it nowadays so, so I put this aside I'm gonna take this cup and I'm gonna sand it and I'm going to clean it with alcohol and then I'm going to wash it with Dawn dish soap and then I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray paint it. When I say sand it, you need to get it so that there's something for the paint to adhere to because it's just a little too uh, smooth. And also, um, there's a little bit of oils in it that they put on it to make it, you know, the finished product. So we're going to take all that off and start with fresh cup. And then I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray today with this... Uh, Color Master Krylon um, Paint and Primer that I got on clearance at Michael's, I think, for $3. And um, then I'm going to spray a little bit more on uh, with the Krylon Color Max Paint and Primer. I, it, it's not that Krylon is my favorite, but the nozzles work really well, and they don't clog up, and they don't gunk all over. Um, I, my, I have my husband, Pat, do most of my spray painting for me, but when he's not here, I have to use the good paints because I'm not very good at spray painting. And even though it's okay, it's easy to cover up if you have a glob or a drip or something like that when you're using epoxy and glitters and other things. It's, sometimes it haunts you if you have one in the wrong spot. So, I'm going to pull my hair up so I don't get hair in my um, epoxy. And go outside and spray paint this stuff. I'll be right back. All right, here I am, I'm back, and I have my cup that I spray painted. I used the Catalina Mist, and then the darker color Gloss Bahama Sea. It's gloss, it is, it doesn't matter. I mean, at first I thought I had to have all matte paints all the time, but then I just, I'm awfully frugal, so I only buy things on clearance, so I was like, well, let me see what I can get. 
Let me see how this one works because it's a pretty color. Also, I tend to gravitate towards the teals and the blues and the aquas and the whatnots because they're my favorite colors. So, um, and my kids get a little sick of it because they're like, I don't like the Tiffany blue anymore, but whatever, I do. So I'm going to make cups in my favorite colors and they sell too. So, so I'm going to put this on my cup turner here and I'll show you what that's all about. When I first started making cups, I, um, well, first I bought the spinet from Michaels because I got it on clearance for, I think it was $19.99 and that was after months and months and months of planning and watching and I finally was like, I have to make a cup, I'm gonna do it. So I bought the spinet, I made a cup or two, I realized how awful the spinet is as far as, it's just not adaptable to what you're doing. It, you know, I've learned so much from then and I was still able to do it. But, then I bought a cup turner on Amazon. It was super quiet. The spinet made a noise, so you couldn't have it running. You know, it was just, ugh. Then I bought the, um, I can't remember what it's called, but I'll, I'll link to it. It's not that bad. I mean, if you look on Amazon, it's the wooden one with the little heart um, in the decorating it. The, it's not bad. Um, it's just that it's on wooden dowels and you could take the dowels out and stuff like that, but they're not the same size as everything else. So it's just not as adaptable. And one of the things that I've really learned is that the best way to do cups, oopsie, I kept the wrong one actually, is, this? is to um, be able to move them around, you know, on, and, and glitter and things like that. So, and so I even, I actually 3D printed these cup chucks. So this is PVC pipe. My husband made a spinner for me. Um, you can buy all the parts someday. Maybe I'll do a tutorial, but there are great tutorials out there. You should look at Sandy, Sandy's Organized Chaos. Her husband made an amazing tutorial and that's what I used to, you know, have to know what to get so that we can make our spinner. It was really, really, really great. And then I buy these at the dollar store or wherever else I can get them and cut them or whatever. But this is the tip number one for your cups not falling off your turners because they will fall off your turners. Everybody has that problem. I think, I mean, unless you start off with the whole, the whole shebang, you know, you buy the Bowen turner and all that stuff in the beginning, you're going to have your cups fall off the turners and you're going to have to learn the lessons the hard way. So this, is that shelf liner stuff. They're actually coasters. I bought them at the grocery and then I found them at the dollar. I probably paid too much for them at the grocery and then found them at the dollar store. They're amazing and um, they're you know, sticky. So I put that over my my cup truck. This is a smaller one. I have bigger ones for this cup that I'm just showing you. You put it in and then you can do all the things. You can move it around. You can do whatever. It won't come out of here, you know. So. Um, this cup is uh, going to be epoxied at some point. I haven't quite figured it out yet. My daughter Haley wanted me to make it for her birthday, so we'll see. It has the Dawn Power Wash on it. So we'll figure out. But anyways, if you can epoxy and do things with it and then put it on your turner, um, that's the best way to go. You want want to be able to manipulate your cup, do things like, you know. Some people don't even use a turner, mostly, because you use such a fine layer of epoxy that you can put it on a stand. And these are just my other, my cup chucks. And um, that's not the best one, because the ones I have are screwed down, but <laughs> you just put it on your little stand there and let it dry or whatever. So now I am going to mix up some epoxy um, and then once I do this I won't be able to be on camera anymore because I have to put 
my hair up even more and put my thing on and you know wear my other glasses and stuff like that because epoxy is caustic maybe it's not caustic it's noxious so it can cause you know it's just not good to breathe it so um, I'll put on my stuff and move everything around here and then I'll just try to video you know what I'm doing here but um, I am going to use CC DIY, which is counterculture DIY, has a um, artist resin, which is what Foxy is, it's resin, and it's no VOCs, which is supposed to, I'm always looking for something that doesn't have that strong smell, the headache, the danger, you know, you still have to wear all of your things, but I'm, I'm always looking for something that's not going to smell up everything. So... <clears throat> I'm going to use this one for the very first time. It's the medium viscosity. You mix part A, equal parts with part A and part B. And um, I guess I'm going to actually read the directions while I'm off camera before I start mixing. Just to be very, very sure because I've never used this one before. I'm using this one today because the very, very sad day. I finally found an epoxy that I absolutely, absolutely love. It's uh, by Mr. Nola's Glitter, and it's glass coat epoxy, and look how much there isn't left. So I'm really just trying to conserve and be very sparing with it right now because um, in case I have an order or something that I need to make sure is perfect um, and I'm having troubles, I just want to make sure I save this because, boy, that's amazing. Amazing. It's a little sticky. Oh, here's another little tip. Baby wipes. You need them if you're going to do epoxy. I mean, I, I didn't even know why I needed them forever, but man, wiping off your little stir sticks and cleaning off your hands and cleaning off your gloves and cleaning epoxy that's dripped, it's all over everything all the time. Cleaning it out of your hair, you can do that with this, so make sure that you have baby wipes on hand if you get started. I had used tumble epoxy, um, which I, what I, it wasn't bad, it just still had an odor, and that was the only thing that I didn't like. And I also had a little bit of a curing problem with it once, and it was probably something that I did, because that happens, you know. But I could not get a good cure on it to save my life. Um, and I was able to um, redeem that cup with Mr. Nola's glitter, so maybe that's why I'm so fond of it. But even before that, I used Amazing Clear Cast, which you buy at Michael's. So, you know, it's not like... Um, you have to order all of these things on. You can start small. Just know that you're going to need to have your respirator <laughs> handy um, before you get started. And, um, you know, um, this is Idaho, so it's hard to work in the winter, so I had a really, really hard time. And now that um, it's warmer and I have this great crafty space and the you know, I can throw the window open in here and um, it makes it so much easier because epoxy also wants it warm. It's 76 degrees in here right now um, and I will open the window when I do that so it's going to drop quite a bit because it's probably, I don't know, maybe 48, 50 outside right now. Um, but this room does not hold the heat so a little breeze in here and it's going to go. So. I'm going to turn off the camera, I'm going to get all set up and I'm going to move it so that you can see what I'm doing I think and then I'll make some epoxy and oh I didn't even tell you what I was going to do. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do some swirls, some I'm going to do some alcohol ink swirls on the cup. So this is a um, cup that I made. Can you see that? Can you see all the pretty colors? It's so hard to show this stuff on camera. This is actually a tall can koozie for your Trulies and your well, clam, whatever those things are. That are so, so pretty and they smell good but they taste awful. But some people really like them. But here also, this is 
I'm gonna use mica powders to do swirlies. I'm gonna try to use all my favorite colors and some little glitters, just because I wanna show you how spectacular and fun it can be to put it on the cup. And people are always wondering what it looks like and how it is that it happens. So I'm gonna show you how it all happens. All right, I'm gonna um, pick out some of my favorite mica powders and I'm actually gonna use, I have um, this really, really, really great um, white shimmering one that I bought online because Kat wanted to see what it looked like for one of the floors. So I have some of that left. And then um, this is something that I bought online for not very much money because remember I'm trying to not break the bank. And it has all these wonderful little shimmery powders in it. Those are mica powders. And again, you have to wear your mask when you, um, you know, play with these because you can inhale them. So, um, I'm going to dig through, I'm going to look at all of these different colors and kind of get some of my favorite colors. I'm going to mix them up with the epoxy. I'm going to drizzle them on. The cup is going to be spinning as I do this. I'm going to put some heat. I have a heat gun. I might even use my blow dryer because it blows a little more. And um, I'm just going to make a spectacularly sparkly, beautiful, fun, oceany looking cup. And then I'm going to put my Aunt Katie's name on it because I love her very much. I'm going to see her next weekend and I want to give it to her. So, so that's what I'm doing. So let me get a little bit organized and I'll reposition the camera so you can see what I'm doing.
back with my cup. After about six hours, I was able to turn off the turner, and then 24 hours later, here we are, and it is cured, hard to the touch. So now, all of that I need to do is clean up the inside. I'll use acetone and 91% alcohol to clean up any of the overspray, clean up the rim, um, make it all really nice and put a little edge on there so that I can get one more final perfect seal. I'm going to put a decal on it that says my Aunt Katie's name and then I am going to put another layer of epoxy on that and then make sure that it's perfectly, perfectly smooth. Sometimes the decals need just one more layer just to be professional looking in the end. So, but boy it turned out nice and pretty and sparkly. So. I'm excited about it. I can't wait to finish it up and gift it to her. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it inspires you to either make your own cup or watch more tutorial videos from other people. I hope to put some more out because this is fun. Although I have learned that making a YouTube video is way harder than making a cup. But I'm going to try again. Um, and go and buy some cups from people because they put a lot of work and effort into them. And, um, they're really, really pretty, and I know that if you buy a cup from someone, you're going to love it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please like my video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll put out some more videos so that we can have lots more fun. I'll do something more glittery next time with lots of these fun glitters. So, have a wonderful time crafting or shopping on Etsy. <laughs>